Hey everyone, and welcome back to Koali Zoo. It's been two weeks, but good two weeks. Now, we've got a lot to talk about today, but first of all, let's say hi to Mr. Eben. Hello. And a very rare guest over here, Mr. Sylph. <laughs> Hello, everybody. He legit turned his PC on the first time in the entire week for us now. That's... That's very good. It do be like that I sometimes. I feel so special <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah, it's so cool. So guys, how are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. New DLC, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh yeah, that's brilliant. It's brilliant, isn't it? Um, yeah. You can imagine that me with my project Yosemite, I was like... <sighs> <laughs> Why? I thought this project was done once and for all, and now, well... But Rudy, I'm sure at this point you've gotten used to it, right? Yeah. Every time you build something, they end up releasing a DLC with the exact same theme later. Exactly. Like, it's, yeah. it's, it's just fate. <laughs> I, I, should, I should go build kind of a moon base or like a Martian base next, because then it's very unlikely to get that, but you never know. <laughs> Anyhow, today Don't, is don't push to them, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. Today is going that would be, to be really cool, though. Imagine yeah. doing a zoo in like biospheres on Mars. I'm, yeah, we're getting off topic. <laughs> we, but, sh we should, we should, we should ask I Elon about it. it. We should definitely ask Elon about it. He's gonna. <laughs> I think uh, he's still going through through a very rough breakup at the moment. Oh yeah, we're very rough. See, this is why we need the lady to keep us on track because. <laughs> <laughs> Still, that's true. Okay, before we start, you guys will be a little bit confused maybe why we are standing here in the education center. Um, this yeah. is the Corrales Education Center, but it's for a very good reason. And now we're going to start off. I'm just going to go over because we are going to book something. We are going to book a backstage tour, okay? So we are going to go here because this is where we have a tour area. And you remember, we have the first tour that is going to go all the way into the monkey area. When we go mm -hmm. downstairs here into the monkey tour, we've got another tour today. And this is another backstage tour so we are basically booking it now from this uh, lovely person over here selling some mobile phone chains by the way can we just quickly mention how much ahead of time frontier was with those chains around the phones <laughs> nowadays i see the girls everyone is carrying these things in in real world i don't know what where this is coming from all of a sudden but these kind of uh, chain thingies around mobile phones is the new stuff i don't know what that is Oh damn! I'm so, honestly, I haven't seen them in real life, but I guess I guess you're on the onto all the new stuff that the kids are into. <laughs> yeah, potentially because of Dusseldorf, you know, that's that's the that's the hot area oh, right, right now yeah. for the influencers. That's not even <laughs> a joke. It's crazy. You you can't even go into the city. It's like filled by TikTokers. It is insane. Why? Yeah, I don't know why. To be honest, I have no idea. I. It, I don't know if the city is so special. I have, I have no clue. Whatever. Um, but yeah, let's <laughs> let's book that backstage too. <laughs> and um, yeah, we are going to go to the restrooms because that's where we are starting the tour. Well, actually not in the restrooms, but uh, we have to go into the backstage area where these lovely keepers coming from. And um, yeah, we have to gather together first of all, okay? So this is the backstage area, but um, they said we had to go to the very end of the hallway and then go outside and wait because there you go. There is a little waiting oh, area for I us now. This. Oh, neat. So see, this is a little gathering point over here. And you can see there's this is, by the way, a placeholder um, for the tour. Um, at the moment, we've got an otter sign here because that was the only one which is actually in there. So it's going to be the otter swim class today that we're going to be explained. Um, and yeah, you can see I made some very cheap murals going in line <laughs> with the theme what we always talked about. Um, you know, this is backstage. And so they would exactly. only do the bare minimum to uh, theme things for the tours. So if you go behind here, um, you can see this is where like the water purification thing is. And we've got two broken down, uh, you know, refurbished oh, huts this. from the oh, that's really area. Good. So you can see some, some of the bamboo things are broken out and we've got like a broken umbrella lying over here. I love and, that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Some things are missing, and if we go over here, you can see one of the electrics um, had had his stuff over here, but he left <laughs> all the stuff here. He wasn't finished doing his job, and so you know, a broken down uh, little light thingy is here, and all these switches and stuff. But he at least he noted down what has been fixed and whatnot. You know, uh, very good stuff I, of him. I always love these little things because <laughs> they bring so much life to a zoo and to anything that you build. So yeah, well yeah, done, man. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, that's like a little story. Also kind of, you know, took one of these planters over here um, because you have to look from the other side and there is this um, kind of fence over here. And I wanted mm -hmm. to at least block a little bit the backstage view, like not entirely, but still like do it a little bit. And can see, mm -hmm. by the way, the um, the screen over here is on, on wheels. Oh, I so love you that. can put it away because obviously 
you wouldn't have it always outside with like this area where rain is not like super uncommon and then of course we have like this this very overgrown recreation area which has always been here so yeah this is where we're going to do the tour um so this is the staircase that goes into the tour but before we do so um i'm just going to show you this is where the backstage access for yeah. the people uh for the staff is into the uh tunnel but wait is that a rock collar door or did you sink it into nah, the rock I, enough I, to... I sink it in so ah that's really cool <laughs> so that it just seems like a little bit of a themed one um but yeah so let's move on and go actually on top of the wonderful river area we are um having here so you can remember that we've been down in the tunnel the last couple episodes mm -hmm. and um yeah, now we are going actually above it. And I don't know why Tejit Cam is acting this way, but it seems like it's very hard to get up the <laughs> stairs. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so we are up here now and you can see you're greeted by oh. another little area. Look at that. So this is uh, an area where I have to explain a couple of things. So I had a struggle. You can't imagine how hard it was to tie that all together to make it really believable in the size I wanted it to have. But yeah, so this is the area where you would come to and then the staff can actually explain a couple of things. Because when we are standing over here, you can see in this direction, this is where Africa is. Um, everything behind mm -hmm. here is Africa. On this hand side over here, we are on the back side of the orangutan habitat. So um, there is where the orangutans are. You can see there's the temple peeking through a little bit here. Um, and when we go here to the right hand side, this is our brand new beaver habitat, which we are going to have a look into in a minute. But first of all, we're going to take the left hand side. This is the course that uh, leads us to the entrance of the otter habitat. And yeah, we talked about this all the time, but now we finally have the backstage access um, going a little bit above this area and you can see things happened over here because this is the view now from above oh. you can see this is this is what lady built down there like with the otters playing in the water and uh, you've got the guests all gathering around there the sun is shining nicely into and i kind of combined the temple now it's fallen down completely it's connected and oh, you can yeah, see yeah. this this became part of the backstage area Cool, cool. So you can see. It actually still looks very themed and very good from this perspective as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thanks. Considering that, you know, it's backstage. It is, it is. I tried my best to to make it so that whatever you see um, from, from most of the guest perspective is still themed. But as soon as we get out, as you can see over here, I didn't really put too mm -hmm. much effort in. There's just like a couple of overgrown stuff. And down here, we've like a little bit of a um, emergency kind of uh, thing. I wanted to make like a telephone, but I could not oh, just find okay. a piece that looks like a telephone so just imagine that this is like a telephone thing um in uh, case you have some some issues you can report or you can talk about what the otters are doing and <laughs> as you can see this is this is the this is the area i mean nowadays you would potentially do this with your mobile phones anyways but um you know considering that you will need to have something that you can always trust in yeah exactly make sense yeah so yeah, this is that area from here over the others. You can see there in the center, there's already things happened as well. Oh, yeah. We will get there in the middle, in a minute. <laughs> so yeah, we are going further and you can see this is not really themed. I just put some uh, some rocks in here, not too crazy. And then just a couple of temple pieces, which legit, they're only here to have this roof uh, for the guest <laughs> to view, you know, and to have like a little shelter. But yeah. that's about it. It's nothing more than that. Mm -hmm. And then if we go down, you can see this is getting a lot more backstage ish, if you will. Um, this is like the connection between the macaque habitat, Sylph. It's still existing, you know. Uh, it, oh, it did nice. get a very different entrance now. And this is the building uh, they have. And this is the lower side. And in this building, we have air conditioning and some snow and stuff. So I figured they need maybe some, some cooling area. And then mm -hmm. oh. we've got this area where the keepers can also, you know, guide the people to talk a little bit about the otters and also the macaques and just maybe guide them even in here to the habitat. So yeah, that is the first part of the tour see, to I, this end. I see that you use the um, the vista points, and I kind of wish that we could like make a, a, f a list of all the vista points, and you could link them up so that guests would go from point A to B to C. Oh to yeah, D. oh yeah, that would that be would amazing. Be so amazing, yeah, that would be so cool. 
So, um, yeah, I thought exactly about this. I, I thought that this is kind of the idea. You have all these points, you know, also for the, for the keeper to talk because they also need that little bit of a um, m mem memory thing, if mm -hmm. you want, you know, that you know what, mm -hmm. where exactly you go. Because I figure, I don't know, maybe even you have more insights to that, but I could also imagine that sometimes for a keeper, you know, all these tours are nice, but if you do them all over again, it might get a little bit distracting and you have a lot of other stuff to do and then you need these kind of things yeah. to just keep in mind what you need to talk about you know <laughs> i mean as a keeper in a zoo you're constantly doing things that you're not expecting so chances are high that you've been had a very busy day already and that you forget things yeah exactly um so yeah here we've got another peek into the orangutan habitat by the mm -hmm. way uh, but that's like no official entrance i i just thought about this like this way maybe if the keepers you know they could go in here if they need to mm -hmm. it's like almost like a little emergency entrance but the the main entrance is already in the education center so yeah. there's no need for like a second one um but yeah so you can see I this like is that. um this is that. We will also go into the tunnel again at the end to have a peek Ooh. from low so you can see how that looks from down there because I tried to build this from both perspectives in mind. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, now we go down here a little bit and you can see now if we go to the other side, before we go to the beavers, I show you already, this is then, uh, oops, there's like, I think this is autosave. Yeah, there you go. Um, <laughs> you can see on this hand side, things getting a lot more backstage vibes. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is where I stopped theming things at all. So, um, but I'm still quite happy with how that turned wait, out. So, behind this building is the stables for the... Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Exactly. I'm going to show you now. So, we've got like a little parking spot over here because I figured we have all yeah. these roads laid out to this area, but there was legit no space whatsoever to at least, you know, make a little oh. stop or whatever. Oh, you used... Ooh, even the bike park. Exactly. We've got nice. a little bike park here. You and use that, that piece from the Africa pack to... Yeah, oh, exactly. I love that. This is great, right? I love it's, this as It's well. such a little detail, but I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured this looks exactly like these parking spots, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. I, I wanted to change it into gravel, but it kind of was a little bit too bright, so I went back to the dark asphalt. Uh, but, um, yeah, so this is how it is. You could maybe change it to grass, because I know they exist like these concrete bricks with grass as well in the middle. Oh, but, oh know, yeah. It's like a tiny little thing, but exactly. it would be better for like climate adaptation. Exactly, that would make sense. Yeah, we could definitely change that. And you can see this is like a little car park over here. You can see they brought some food here in the back. There's some other stuff oh, and like a chest, you know, they brought some supplies and then you go down here and this is what you meant uh, even exactly. This is where your stables were. Oh, oh they yeah, still are. I didn't take them away. You can see <laughs> I made this route down there is also oh, just very barely covered in, in backstage stuff. So nothing major. Um, on the left hand side, we've got like a little, um, this is the escalator that goes down like the, um, the area that goes down into the tunnel system. So this is mm -hmm. where the access is to all the aquatic stuff um, from the river, but this is not themed. Like you have to imagine that you go down below yeah. because I mean, we have the screens. I don't even have like a legit aquarium, so <laughs> whatever. But if you go here, oh, um, I, I enlarged like your area a little bit. You've got another access over here, but then you go into this spot and this is now very much connected to your area. So this is here and then you've got your little area right behind oh, so it's sweet. all connected you can still fit bigger animals through um and uh, yeah this is just how it all turned I out to be it. and then over here this is the entrance to the beaver habitat well, we are going to just storm back real quick and oops i should have uh, doubled the gate oh well <laughs> we just go through walls then whatever <laughs> so and this is then uh, the area as you can see over here a little seating area for the tours yeah, yeah, and you can see I recycled another stuff that unfortunately was, yeah, well, reduced out of this this park as I've seen. These <laughs> are the old seating areas that Mike used for his um for his bar yeah, you can't, at the micro. I remember these being one of the the first things, or at least it's near the entrance, right, where exactly. he originally used. I think them. It, it, exactly. It, you can't leave Mike in a park for too long. He'll just no. he'll just start <laughs> deleting things, even the good things like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I just took them and recycled them. I just found I them it. at some of these uh, areas where we put all of our crap. <laughs> it's like if you guys would see the whole map, like uh, to the outsides of the map, there's like oh, yeah. everywhere's like uh, crap. We we just put all the blueprints there, and I just really legit went through there and and, and looked for the best things <laughs> to be recycled <laughs> in here. And yeah, now we have this wonderful beaver. Oh, habitat. so. 
Oh. I would say it's like 80% done because I stopped at one point because obviously not knowing exactly their requirements and yeah. stuff and enrichment items. But as I've shown you already some pics in the group, um, I went for like a, a couple of images on ZooChat that mm -hmm. were like beaver habitats in more tropical areas. And they play a lot with this kind of fake stone yeah. um, and, and making sure that they have like enough water to go into because that would be required to cool down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they also had these kind of slides, water slides. So very nice stuff. And they have like their little area to, you know, get a rest and just, it almost looks like a little beaver dam themed. Yeah, exactly. I love so, it. So yeah, this is, really this well is what they have over here. But again, we need a lot more like, uh, um, you know, enrichment stuff and so on. But at this point it is already done and we just need to do a couple of little tweaks. I'm looking forward to it when the animals so. are in there. Because like the beaver is one of my favorite animals of the new pack. It's just oh yeah, definitely. Amazing. Uh, I think at this point we should ask Mr. Sylph, uh, do you even recognize this area still? <laughs> do you know where we um, are? <laughs> to be very honest, hardly. <laughs> I recognize some of the, the temple pieces, obviously, because they're kind of recycled and just... But, but in general, no, I have a very hard time placing where any of this is. I know we're around the macaque area and we're around the temple area, but where exactly? Honestly, <laughs> this is very good. <laughs> You're this... gonna have to zoom out for that. <laughs> yeah, this is very you know, good. No, I mean, I like it because that was my that was my oh, intention for today's this. episode to really wrap it all together, to really make sure that this time around I don't leave a mess, <laughs> you know? <laughs> that this time around I leave something finished. Um, and I guess it is. So I yeah, we have this. like something we barely had in the zoo and I barely ever did. But I think this is something you very often see in zoos that play a lot with like, um, yeah, with the terrain and so on. And I mean, mm -hmm. this area is very cramped and you need some access to some other stuff. So I made this catwalk and you can see all over here. We have all these things um, to give access to quick um, yeah, connect to your other staff members and making sure that you have also potentially some someone to rescue you because mm -hmm. this would not be really uh, it's not the most safest area here to go if you imagine there's like a rain it might be slippery and stuff but like, this is what you would do you know it's not America or Germany where like requirements are insane you can mm -hmm. just build whatever you want in Asia so <laughs> I like the fact that you can before we didn't have this but in a very tropical zoo you have so many plants and you need to make sure that there aren't like branches that will fall in the water and you essentially gave it a perfect way to maintain everything and I love that and I love this freaking view what the hell <laughs> it's crazy isn't it I it's love it too. so like, beautiful what the hell <laughs> I like 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 lady said last episode I always had in mind what I wanted to do and she was like I have no clue what you want to do like with the top of it but I'm so <laughs> I'm so happy with the habitat but it's such a pity that no one can see it from above and I was like in my mind already just you wait just you oh, wait <laughs> because this view is like I mean she didn't know it but she built the perfect habitat to, to yes. yeah it works really well with the beach yeah. and then the rock outcrop and like, look how this it's plays really together, cool. like with the sinkhole and stuff now. Yeah, it's just it just really wow. all plays together. <laughs> yeah. And depending on how Frontier pulls up the lesser requirement for diving, we can actually go in here and make this like a lot more rocky and a lot yeah. more like nice for the underwater viewing. I, like Frontier, I know we sometimes can complain about things, but I'm so freaking happy that they decided to change some of the requirements. Like. Two meter, I'm perfectly fine with. Four meter was just too deep for me for a lot of animals. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, two meter is just perfect. So thank you so much for that. Exactly. This is, I can just say the same. It's, it's really important. As you can see, by the way, what you were just mentioning, even I did make sure that we always have these like very, as you can see, very rusty stuff, but everybody <laughs> fences over here so that yeah. the foliage is not uh, going down into the tunnel area, especially here where the open temple is, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, this is what you saw already from the other side. This is like the maintenance uh, access to the center area of this thing. I and guess what? We need a oh. lot of pipe work over here, right? Oh, that's, that's really cool. cool. <laughs> and so I actually had a lot of work uh, putting all the pipes in here um, because this is essentially what we would need, right? Because the, this, this entire area here is like fake. So it's not natural waters and so Obviously, we need pumps to keep it clean, to keep it the right temperature because we have otters. 
we've got beavers, we've got the penguins that all require a tiny bit of a different temperature in their area. I love it. So this uh, really reminds me of like the backstage areas in aquariums. Yeah, exactly, yeah, cool. exactly. And I also really like, and that's a that's a cool detail that some people often miss, is different colored pipes. So you know which what which pipes go into which exhibit. Exactly. And you know exactly where it, it works perfectly. Exactly, I and I actually, it. I actually went the extra meter, but it, it, I, at one point I just figured it's completely unnecessary. But this is actually the pipes are going all the way ah, through, the, that. <laughs> through the viewing <laughs> to to uh, the back area there. But at some point I just stopped because there was no way that I could make other little glimpses into it, and so I was like, yeah, just imagine it's all there. I love it's that. legit all there. So it's actually going really through here because I wanted to just get the proof that it fits into this, and it does. So yeah, all the pipe work I mean, is going. I think I think that's the good point of like building things that you don't actually see is just because you built them everything is composed mm -hmm. in a way that it actually could be there exactly so that's the most important part yeah and speaking of could be there we also have this waterfall feature which is essentially the the, the sole purpose of this thing is to first of all get some um, how's that called like some uh, CO2 into the water yeah. like you yeah exactly and also to block the view of this specific maintenance road this is the only purpose of this thing you will see that we will go to the balcony that lady built and this thing is the perfect element to block exactly the view of uh, this catwalk I and it doesn't that. block anything else it just blocks this catwalk and i was so happy it worked out <laughs> but yeah you can see this is like another area where you can also imagine that some of the staff people can also get a little rest over here check everything you know check the pipes check that and then maybe also enjoy a couple of seconds of the view of their animals so yeah. that's like the idea here so yeah this is the other area where you can also go with the tours and i'm just storming really quickly back also by the way i just don't know why but okay we've got the autosave here of course but the performance is still ridiculously good i have no idea why but it's very doable yeah. I was already looking at the FPS counter, wondering whether you just capped it at 15 FPS. How you even managed to do this while the game is not even paused, but... Yeah, no, sure. if, if, if I pause the game, you can see we are well into the Whoa. 30s. Yeah, but that's uh, like, that's like the like... thing. Like, if you're... Especially for people who are building uh, very piece-heavy areas, if you drag a, a, pe a, a group that has a lot of pieces underground, you can easily see that you have more FPS and that it works a lot more smoothly. So the game has a really good way of, of not rendering uh, specific things that aren't in your eyesight, and it really shows. Yeah, and I think this is um, this is basically their huge improvement over Planet Coaster because yeah. I remember from talking to them that was the biggest issue that they didn't have a system in place that. Uh, pro uh, provided a only render in the viewport thing it just oh. always rendered everything Oof. so that was the big deal hmm. um so yeah i'm just gonna cut this uh, route over here real quick because we need to go to the tunnel from the outside now because this was our tour but i did a couple more things not like super oh, much more but did. a couple of <laughs> a couple of little fixes so we first of all we have a sign over here now nice so because i kind of it just I love the tunnel the way it was, but it just kind of missed that little bit of an attention yeah. seeker, you know, that you had something that you really wanted to go there. So yeah, exactly. um, I changed a couple of things here. You can see I put a lot more foliage in, I blocked the backstage. You can see some little glimpses, you know, you see some of the umbrellas, you see some of the um, of the lampposts, and you can also yeah. look through here. But I intentionally left this open because I sometimes feel like you need this to, yeah. you know, just get that little bit of a feeling there is still something you know because um, because and that's that's one of the things that always comes back in zoo design at the end of the day you as a visitor at a zoo you know that you're not in the actual wild and in the actual nature so if you would go too far and you would, would make it seem as if nothing of no stuff things or or human um buildings or objects in the art in there you wouldn't believe it because your brain already knows that it isn't real. So exactly. Yeah, these things Sounds like the uh, the uncanny valley of zoo design. Kinda, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love. It. I still love this. Like, yeah, I I, still... I do hope that we one day get fish because, as much as I like these screens, I I, I am an animal nerd. Yeah. So I want as many it would be so cool. As possible. 
It would be so cool. But now I'm looking forward to the underwater area of the beavers. Yeah, well, to be fair, um, but I, I'll come to that in a second. I didn't change too much quite yet, simply because not knowing what the underwater yeah, plant yeah. feeder does and so on. But what I did is I changed this area over here already a little. Oh. Um, so I changed the colors and stuff. So we always had this oh, little like this. viewing, but um, now it has a meaning because now you can see this is made for kids. Oh. So everything is sized for the kids. You can sit down like a little carpet over here. You have some toys in a little oh, basket in, in a big uh, little area and we've got some webcams as well um, which to be fair at this point there are only screens because we have no <laughs> beaver so why would I even put them in right uh, exactly. so you've got some so we've got some webcams so you can see also what's going on above I so there you that. go and then you have the view inside of this wonderful deep dive area I did actually theme everything but the lighting is not in our favor right now let's change the lighting real quick I hope then you can see something better wait yeah, there you go. This oh, is yeah. this is already you, yeah. You, you can also like that. see that I never play with notifications on, and you do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Forty-two I I notification. Fran Whoops. <laughs> yeah, no, because I I play franchise, and this is why oh. I don't change that all the time. Oh, so, yeah. okay. okay. <laughs> but I'm very good at ignoring them in this zoom. So. <laughs> at one point, remember, at one point I tried to fix everything. I think it was like midway through Kuali. I sat down for like an hour or so and I tried to fix all the things because I got annoyed of them and I just completely, I just completely gave up. <laughs> it was like no point in doing this. Simply because we use so many tricks like, you know, using yeah. education boards to do something and so on. And so the game constantly tells you that they're in the wrong area and blah, blah, blah. Oof. And so I was like, yeah, I'm just not, I'm just not doing that. So yeah, this is then the other water. You can see very solid, just like ground has been done and so on. But I, yeah. I would love to see some, some more things to interact in the middle. But again, we need to see how that plays out with the two meter deep dive um, yeah. because that's that's essentially the most important knowledge we need to understand how much we can go crazy underwater exactly. and um, so yeah now we go over here I did not change anything in this cave yet other than that I cleaned up some things you can see over here this is cleaned up uh -huh. um, and the view over here to the other side is cleaned up and now we are just waiting if we potentially even could get this to be a diveable area maybe we can put the water one level higher uh -huh. and then they could potentially dive but this is oh, something we have to amazing. look into yeah so this would be really cool and now to the other side you can see this is now the Perfect. new view and you can see i think i managed it quite well to hide the the south pathway i mean except <laughs> if they're walking there <laughs> I, I love that the timing I love, for I like that, that was amazing well. <laughs> yeah yeah i like that too because I like the fact that it breaks the, illu the illusion once or twice, but this exhibit is also still amazing. Is yeah, I and I like, I like the fact that it makes you recognize that if it weren't for that person walking there, you wouldn't even have noticed there's a path there. It just yeah. looks like a rocky outcrop. I love it. Exactly. Well done. Well done, man. Thank you. And yeah, this is this is really I I still love what Lady did here. I mean, she always plays it down. She was like, yeah, I'm putting just the habitat <laughs> down. But I don't know. She's like she's still having that mojo of making these habitats look so natural and so exactly. atmospheric and just everything plays mm -hmm. together. And you have the feeling like, yeah, that's that's how it's been done. This is this is how it should be done. And really, I just just love how this area especially came together. And I didn't really do much. I just put a lot more foliage in to cover some of the poles and pillars. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. Cool. Um, yeah, over here, we've got the deep dive area, obviously, of uh, our friends. I can say, oh, there's one other already pleasing us with its presence. <laughs> Where is it? It's gone. See, I, w I wanted to say thank you, and it's gone. Tia, tia. <laughs> Wait, is it coming, Darwin? No, it's not. Okay. Um, it went I'm to really the other side. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but Adele is happy f for that. Yeah. <laughs> Sylph is counting and all out again. Sorry, Sylph. <laughs> no, I've got red hot chili peppers stuck in my uh, in my head. Oh, now. okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, Sylph. Oh. <laughs> it's not so, a bad thing. And um, I love this as well. Yeah, we we got another screen again. This is just like a stationary at this point. I think we can change it later on. But uh, as I figure, many many people will have to play this game or this this park on pause. I don't know how much of a good idea it is to put even more videos in. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I kept this also here for the for the wonderful view down there from That's the penguins. That's a really cool perspective. Yeah, yeah. so cool. Really and cool. then we've got that other wonderful view, like taking a photo as 
you know, webcam photo from that beach area. So I, I really love how that all came together. Gosh, it's so crowded by now here in the tunnel. <laughs> What's going on? And all of these tarantula, pink tarantula thingies. <laughs> yeah. I, like I had I had so many hat shops in, in Tarmashadi and I was so, I grew so tired of all the tarantulas <laughs> and Ryan that I just deleted it. And then I replaced it with balloons and then everyone had balloons. Had balloons. <laughs> Oh, I, I got to say, what's we have going like on here? What a feature. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You have to leave that and you have to make a sign with caution, wet, wet floor. <laughs> oh, yes. We are so oh, going to To be do honest, that. you could imagine like these kind of caves in, in zoos. They're often very wet and you've always got like these drippings yeah, from the ceilings yeah. and wet walls and stuff. Maybe this is a little bit much, but you know, I think yeah. the idea. But I like wouldn't it. Be too bad. <laughs> I mean, we can integrate that really as a feature. Maybe I'm just going to make like a little, um, you know, sink sinkhole down here or whatever, like a, a you know, pipey, whatever, yeah, yeah, so where yeah. the water is getting in. So it's kind of a little, I mean, we're in a tropical zoo. It's warm, anyway, it's humid, exactly. so that's, that's fine. Um, so yeah, okay. Well, this is it uh, from this side, but now let's quickly go back onto the balcony before we then zoom out. There's the balcony, because I just wanted to show you that view again. Uh, remember if lady, when Lady did this last week, but this, or like two weeks ago, this is the new Wii view. And look at that, you can see the Fallen Temple. Oh, uh, that's here. the waterfall hiding the path. Exactly. And you can see it's not hiding the temple. And see what I did here. This was really, I, I just tried this so many times, but um, there is like, there are the vines over here, which uh -huh. do hide obviously some ropes to, or like maybe steel beams even to uh -huh. make sure that these things don't really fall over. This is straight taken out of the trick that Animal Kingdom uses for yes. the Pandora thingies, mm -hmm. uh, for the Pandora mountains. Um, and I just took that in here and I kind of tried to make a dynamic in. All right, we're back everyone. The game just decided to freeze on us while these two penguins to the bottom left yeah. are now touching each other. Like, hey, hey, you, uh -huh. what? stop, stop, hey, yep. <laughs> I, okay, I, I, I was, I, I was <laughs> I was going to say, oh, it's a little couple, but they are fighting. So. <laughs> no, no, they are fighting. Um, it's it's insane. I think they, I, I, there are so many interactions I haven't seen in this game between yeah. animals. Like, it's really sometimes I, in my mind, I feel like complaining about how less of the animation there. Look, they're doing it again. <laughs> um, but then again, some of these you never see, and then when you see them, they're like so good. Yeah. Like in in, in Zutekun two, we had like a thoughts bubble for uh, animals as well. So you could basically see what they were going to do. And I think like a lot of Sudeikun 2 players are like, oh, there aren't as many interactions and uh, behaviors in Planet Zoo. But I'm like, yep, yeah, that's only because you could, s you could literally see what the animal was mm -hmm. going to do. And in Planet Zoo, you can't do that, which I actually like more because it, it's more random that way. It's a bit more realistic, yeah, exactly. maybe too, because don't you yeah. think like text bubbles make it a bit too humanized? I think there's a, <laughs> an issue with humanizing animal behavior in general. Yeah. 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 But it was super useful in modding time because mm -hmm. then I could just debug while, <laughs> while I was uh, doing things. Right. I mean, that's true. That's definitely true. Anyways, we've, we've ended uh, the tour, so to say. You, you've seen the um, full, full journey and now it's time to fly up and um, oh my god, this is just still so smooth, even though I just I, I just yeah, expected now the game to insane. completely go mad, but it's yeah. not. Um, this is the full river area, guys. This is it. Damn. This is how it looks. It's now actually from quite above. small and now that you zoom out. You realize that it's yeah. really mm -hmm. just the size of a large building. And, and this is what I meant with I had a hard time <laughs> getting this all <laughs> together. Uh, if you remember even the first <laughs> screenshot I sent you. <laughs> of this area. I, I mean, when you were talking about doing a tunnel here, I was like, uh-huh, 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 <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I, I wasn't going to go near that because I have no idea how you did this, man. I mean, that's, this is insane. It's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I love also, it doesn't really take up so much space. It just filled exactly yeah. that blank spot. It, and I think we just took like, Lady took a little bit of that mountain and I took a tiny bit, but it's just yeah, like, but really okay. not worth yeah. even talking about. Um, so yeah, this is it. And I think it really ties this area better together now because like 
as it is mostly in zoos, you have these facility buildings very close together, you know? Mm -hmm. There's like one big facility area over here. But from the perspective of the guests, it doesn't really feel like, you know? Um, yeah. Because we've got that education center, which is now connected directly with the safari tour area. And I think it makes sense because you also want your staff to be able to get to certain spots without mm -hmm. being seen that much and that often. Mm -hmm. And also without being distracted from all the guests. So they have a couple of options now. They can either take that route here, like uh, with our access road in the middle, or they can just go through the backstage areas of the uh, education center and just like, you know, everything is connected. I love it. Really and well done, I, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah I'm sure. also very happy with how it I'm how also it very happy to see it, like how it fits into the bigger picture because now, now I see where everything is and I'm kind of like, oh yeah, right. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, if you if you look at it from here, it barely, you barely even notice it. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's insane how much there is in this zoo at this <laughs> point. And at this <laughs> point, it's right? really like realistically laid out as well. The way that you see that all of the buildings fit together and the path layouts yeah. and the habitats. You can just and because you put so much thought into where everything backstage goes and things like this, you end up with a layout that looks realistic from above. But still, yeah, exactly. it's not. It's not like I, I've been told that in 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 parks, uh, in like roller coaster parks, things are a lot more thought out from the start. Mm -hmm. Whilst zoos grew much more organically, mm -hmm. and I I still think that you can feel that in this zoo as well. That a lot of it has just grown organically, and that, but it still all works because apparently that yeah. what happens with a zoo. <laughs> it so just neat. works at the end of the day. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's really amazing. And what I love especially is if you remember Sylph's old area, this is basically exactly here yeah. where <laughs> Sylph's uh, building was. And this basically was the end of the zoo. Yeah. This was a blank spot. The temple was the other edge of the zoo and the education center was the other edge of the zoo. And so this entire area now feels a lot more organically closed yeah. off rather than just having that blank spot between the mountain and here. There was like essentially nothing. And just what you said, you would use that space if you have it. So, yeah, exactly. So, yeah, is it. Well also, we've got a one last goodie for the people, and Ooh. I'm just going to move carefully over. And Wait, then, Sylph is being this... here wasn't a coincidence. <gasps> Perhaps <laughs> not. Really? <Yeah. laughs> it finally made its way into oh. Koali Zoo. I don't know how many weeks have passed <laughs> since that episode. You could say months. <laughs> <that> months. <laughs> months. Yeah, a month, actually. <laughs> and the Sylph Suites are in here and I, i'm just going to quickly fly in so you guys see this is basically the result of a little uh, fight between <laughs> eben and sylph um, fight <laughs> <laughs> um when uh, eben came off with this um insane hotel in the back here and yeah. sylph just had done that one and he was like wait <laughs> now i'm going to have to make interiors and he built this freaking insane lobby which i still <laughs> am such a insane fan of because it's and just like the feel of it is so cool and i remember that here, episode ah. quite well because <laughs> you went yeah. into one of the rooms and you're like yeah but at least i did a bathroom for my <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and i was like good one sylph <laughs> So yeah, Silk actually did a bathroom, <laughs> like with the shower and even like this heating thing. I love that. Yeah, just, I love that I, as well. I feel already the towels being a little bit warm for me, even though this looks a little bit industrial. So <laughs> what, what has I happened here? I think something went wrong with this particular room. I'd have to check that later. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, we'll call it strange. decoration. You know, industrial decoration okay, okay. Is, is very exactly. much hot. Yeah, right perfect. <laughs> but yeah, I just love it. Now, oh wait, by the way, we can now put actual screens oh, yeah. in that oh, size yeah. in here we have them now oh, i love that cool yeah um, this is the more family oriented hotel yes and um this is also why the location is also wisely chosen this is uh, next to ladies playground and also next to the pet area with the camels and kangaroos and uh, there's one of the little pet stations where you know you can also book like a little tour to feed the animals and yeah this is a very good spot to fill in for a later episode yes but that's from my side guys i finally managed to give this file to the next one without anything that needs to be done isn't yeah that cool? <laughs> isn't that cool that feels amazing <laughs> so where do we go from here then 
I have, well, we, we, on one side of the zoo, we have um, the monkey slash ape area. And we kind of want to mirror that with uh, a big cats area on the other side of the zoo. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to do that. And I have a very specific exhibit in mind, which you will see next time. <laughs> okay. That is so cool. Guys, thanks so much for this tour. Also, sorry for the little crash, guys. I, um, well, my computer just needed a rest, I guess. Um, <laughs> so um, I, I'm very happy. This just turned out to be really a fun week or a fun two weeks, actually. But now it's full on concentrating on the next DLC. And even it's going to take over. Are you actually also going to do something with the DLC in mind? Or do you yes. not want so, to spoil it? So oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I will spoil it a little bit. So what I want to do is I want to make in two exhibits, a Jaguar exhibit and a Cougar exhibit so that you can clearly see the differences between the two big cats of America. Hmm. Cool, mm -hmm. That's that, that sounds amazing. I'm yeah. really looking forward to that. I'm okay, looking and forward to also, it as well. <laughs> thank you, Syl, for being here. Thank you yes. for finally bringing your hotel over. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time. And it's not even finished yet. We'll have to figure out how to uh, go forward with that. But uh, yeah, no problem. Any update on your computer? <laughs> it's not here yet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for being here. And um, yeah, goodbye, everyone. Have a good one. Bye, everybody. Bye.